To move around within the room, fostering a more personal interaction among countries. This period is used for negotiations and drafting resolutions. It can take place for long as the allotted time permits. Draft resolution is a document proposing a solution to an issue. It represents the ideas and goals of its writers, sponsors and signatories. Sponsors of a resolution are those countries that have been principal authors of the document and agree with its substance. Signatories are countries that may or may not agree with the substance of the resolution but would like to see it debated on the floor. 
To proceed, a resolution requires a minimum number of supporters who will vote in favor after the debate ends. Once the draft resolution is ready, it goes to the chair for approval. If approved, a motion can be made to present it to the rest of the council. During this time, the operational clauses are read one by one within a specific time frame. Countries can then propose amendments to these clauses. If an amendment is accepted without objection, it is incorporated. However, if a sponsor objects, a vote is required. Next is to close the debate so as to proceed to vote on a draft resolution. The motion to close the debate can be initiated by any country and requires a two-third majority to pass. Last step will be the voting procedure. The chair will then ask the countries present their voting stance. Countries marked present and voting participate in a vote choosing yes or no and abstaining if they were marked as present. It is mandatory for the sponsors of the draft resolution to vote. Once the voting concludes and a proposal is passed, it becomes the committee's resolution. We have now exhausted the 15 minutes of the unmoderated caucus. Students, please maintain silence. Teachers, please look after your classes. The unmoderated caucus has now exhausted. Delegates, please assemble back to your seats. Are there any points of motion on the floor? Yes, USA, you are recognized. Thank you, Chair. USA would like to initiate the motion to draft the resolution. Thank you, Delegate. All those in favor of this motion? All those against? Seeing the clear majority, this resolution passes. USA, you now have the floor. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair and my fellow delegates. Now, USA would like to discuss the resolution. Having devoted attention to the increasing food insecurity in the recent years, Deeply concerned about the adverse impact of climatic changes, arising geopolitical conflicts, increasing food wastage, spreading of grievous epidemics. Taking into account global crisis brought on by high food prices, pushing millions into extreme poverty and amplifying hunger and malnutrition, draws the attention upon ensuring food security during ongoing clashes as well as promoting and implementing sustainable agricultural practices. Calls upon strengthening safety nets to ensure that vulnerable families will have access to nutritious food and clean water as well as money to make vital purchases and to ensure that immediate food needs are addressed rapidly. US considers to lift the sanction on Iran which are adversely affecting food security of the country. Approves implementation of nutrition focused programs to address malnutrition, especially in vulnerable population of women and children. Approves visa facilitation program for foreign agricultural workers addressing aging domestic farmers to enhance food security, also international cooperation and ensure sustainable agricultural productivity. 
emphasizes on international cooperation to address global hunger through improving distribution system by urging capable countries to support other countries by providing humanitarian aid to the countries in need. Endorses that countries with potential for agriculture must be funded and provided with necessary help to diversify the supply of staple diet over the world. Considers to promote policies that support smallholder farmers and investments to develop rural areas. Encourages the establishment of a collaborative platform for nations to exchange insights on food security, education, share resources, and thereafter introduce programs in their school curriculum. Further invites leveraging technology to improve agriculture productivity and promote agriculture transformation to enhance the efficiency and resilience of agriculture value chain. Suggest following ways to leverage technology by promoting digitalization as a catalyst for agriculture transformation, by establishment of a standardized agriculture data platforms as digital public goods and harnessing global digital technologies. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Delegate. Yes, Yemen, you are recognized. Yemen wants to raise the motion to amend the resolution by adding a clause to declare Israel as a war criminal in the ongoing Israel-Palestine war. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Delegate. All those in favor of this amendment? All those against? Seeing the clear majority against the motion, the motion is rejected. Are there any points of motion on the floor? Yes, China, you are recognized. Delegate of China wants to put a motion to end the debate. Thank you, Delegate. All those in favor of this motion? All those against? Seeing the clear majority, this motion passes. Now we proceed to the voting to pass the resolution. All those in favor of the resolution? All those against? Seeing the clear majority in favor, this resolution passes. Thank you, delegates. Now this committee is dispersed. I believe that everyone present here is now familiar with the procedures of the United Nations. The silent conversation between the soul and the flow is a fascinating spectacle that leaves us all in absolute awe. It's a form where rhythm meets passion, creating a symphony of movements and expressions. We, as onlookers, get entranced by the captivating performance that unfolds. Now, it's time to witness a beautiful dance performance by Rania Swami of Class 11th Edge.
remarkable ability to articulate ideas that resonate with audiences, we present the award for the best speakers to Palak and Bani Singhal. Their charisma, clarity and compelling communication style have left an indelible mark on our minds. advancing knowledge and insatiable curiosity that propels the boundaries of understanding, the Best Researcher Award is presented to Diksha Sharma of Class 11th Edge and Jayant Mitta of Class 11th High. Their meticulous research, innovative approach and commitment to expanding the frontiers of knowledge make them an exemplary figure in the session. Without further 
further ado, I request Honorable MP Sir to address the gathering. First of all, I would like to congratulate the entire team which helped children to prepare and present such a beautiful show. I think uh, many of us, especially at this juncture, do not realize the significance of the event. These unfortunate fellows are not trying to grow. Life is a continuous refinement. Life is a continuous learning. Whatever you are today, you will be a changed person tomorrow. But many of us are stagnant. I think you understand stagnancy. This is the most unfortunate and dangerous part. They will be definitely growing in parasites. They become ultimately the parasites of the society. In our system, our country is really unfortunate in this respect. 70% of our population is still dependent on 5 kilowatt. Some are dependent for 20 kilo of water, some are 30 kilo. But ATA which is freely distributed at present, 70% of population is involved in that. This is not a matter of joke. We are living in such a poor country. जहाँ पर पांच किलो आटे की लाइनें लगती हैं, आप ऐसे ही मत कल आप भी वहीं खड़े होंगे। Yes, this is the truth, this is the fact। वो सारे हंसने वाले ही लाइन में हैं वो। Those who didn't take life seriously, एक बहुत बड़े फिलॉसफर हुए हैं, बर्टरन रसल, नाम शायद सुना हो आप लोगों ने। बटन रसल कहते हैं कि अनफॉर्चुनेटली जो बच्चा पैदा होता है उसमें और जानवर में कोई फर्क नहीं होता हम जानवर ही पैदा होते हैं बटन रसल कहते हैं मैं नहीं कह रहा हम बेसिकली हम जब पैदा होते हैं हमारे अंदर एनिमल इंस्टिंक्ट रहती है आप देखोगे एक बच्चा पैदा होता है उसको जो कुछ मिलेगा वो चपट्टा मार के देगा वो कभी देखा है बच्चे ने कि रिक्वेस्ट की हो कि मुझे दे दे क्या करेगा वो चपट्टा मारेगा आज भी आप देखोगे कहीं लोग आप उसमें अभी तक चपट्टा मार तो क्या रह गया उनके अंदर वो जो बेसिक एनिमल इंस्टिंक्ट्स हैं ये जो रिफाइनमेंट है ये एजुकेशन यही तो है कि हमारी जो जानवर से आदमी बनने की जो प्रक्रिया है वही एजुकेशन है अब आप अपना लेवल खुद मेजर कर लीजिए आप किस स्टेज पर हैं है हम जानवर अब ये जानवर की किस स्टेज में है ये आपको डिसाइड करना है वो आपको पता कैसे लगेगा पड़ोसी थोड़ी बताएगा ये तब पता लगेगा आपको जब कोई देख ना रहा हो और आप कैसे बिहेव कर रहे हैं बाकी तो जानवर तो सर्कस में देखा होगा हंटर लेते ही बिल्कुल एकदम अटेंशन की मोड में आ जाते हैं क्योंकि उनकी एनिमल स्टेट्स हैं हमारी एनिमल इंस्टिंक्ट्स को हमने कितना कंट्रोल किया है लाइफ के अंदर 
वो डिसाइड करेगी हमारा लेवल ऑफ एजुकेशन आज दुनिया में क्या चीज जरूरत है डिग्रीज की ज्यादा जरूरत नहीं है क्योंकि आपने देखा होगा आपके कहीं चौकीदार पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट है तो डिग्रीज की वैल्यू होती तो बेचारे यहां ना खड़े होते कहीं बाइया पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट है तो डिग्रीज की वैल्यू नहीं रही आप आज फिर किसकी जरूरत है आज सिर्फ जरूरत है रिफाइंड इंडिविजुअल्स की जो सो में से एक मिलता है जो रिफाइंड रिफाइंड पर्सनैलिटी वो आप कैसे मेजर कर सकते हैं कि जब आप अकेले में चल रहे हैं आपकी बॉडी लैंग्वेज क्या है आप किस तरह से बात करते हैं किस तरह से कम्युनिकेट करते हैं दीज ऑल थिंग्स डिसाइड दी पर्सनैलिटी ये यश है हमारा अभी आदमी उसको बना है ही शो दैट साइंस फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग साइंस के ऑफिसर लाइक क्वालिटीज बोलते हैं आप यश ये ऑफिसर लाइक क्वालिटीज डिवेलप की जाती हैं ड्यूरिंग द ट्रेनिंग एक आर्मी अफसर जब एंटर होता है फोर्सेज के अंदर पहले तो उसकी पर्सनैलिटी को खत्म किया जाता है जो कुछ है उसको क्रश किया जाता है नहीं यश फिर उसके बाद एक नई रिफाइंड पर्सनैलिटी तैयार की जाती है आपने सभी आर्मी अफसर को देखा होगा एक जैसी लैंग्वेज बोलते हैं आपने सभी आर्मी अफसर को देखा होगा एक जैसा उनका एक तरह से चलते हैं एक तरह से बात करते हैं उनके अफसर लाइक उनका एक आयरा होता है वो ट्रेनिंग में डेवलप किया जाता है आपको लाइफ में अपने को रिफाइन करना है किसी इंस्टीट्यूट की प्रस्टेज क्या किससे बनती है अरे ये प्रोडक्ट उस इंस्टीट्यूट का है आई एम बिगारा कुछ नहीं है मेरा एक स्टूडेंट अभी आई एम का प्रोफेसर है इज पोस्टेड एट प्रेजेंट इन चंडीगढ़ कभी उसको बुलाऊंगा तो वो आ जाएगा आई एम कुछ नहीं है उनको प्रोजेक्ट्स देते हैं उनको हैंडल करना सिखाते हैं प्रैक्टिकल सिचुएशन देते हैं आप उसको कैसे हैंडल करोगे ये चीजें सिखाते हैं तो टूडे आई एम क्वाइट इम्प्रेस दैट के दीज वर द किड्स जो एक ऑफिसर स्टेज की ओर एंटर हो गए आप में से कुछ पीछे बैठे हुए थे मुझे कुछ अफसोस भी हो रहा था कि ये अफसर स्टेज में नहीं उनकी वो पटन रसल वाली इंस्टिंग अभी तक मौजूद है तो मैं आपसे यही अपील करूँगा बीन ए टीचर बीन योर मेंटर यू फाइन योर सेल्फ इसको इंजॉय मत करो इस रेस्टिक बिहेवियर को इंजॉय मत करो नहीं तो बहुत परेशान हो जाओ यूरोपियंस में और हम में यही डिफरेंस रह गया कि वो रिफाइंड हो गए इसलिए बहुत तेजी से आगे बढ़ गए हम अभी तक वहीं बंदरों की तरह उछल गए अपनी एनर्जी वेस्ट कर रहे हैं वी आर अनेबल टू फोकस हमको राइट रॉन्ग का पता नहीं ये सारी एक्सरसाइजेज जो यहाँ की जा रही हैं आई अप्रिशिएट द टीम ये उस रिफाइनमेंट की ओर आपको ले जाने के लिए की जा रही है प्लीज टेक एडवांटेज ऑफ इट मैं यही कहूँगा आपसे थैंक्स We have Rosie Alumnus, Lieutenant Yasha Mangas. Sir, we request you to please come up on the stage and share a few words with us. Thank you, sir. Nika, ma'am, the directing staff, all the instructors and the teaching staff, and my beloved juniors, or I should say, students. First of all, I would like to say that it's a dream come true to have come to this side from that side, and किसी भी student के लिए like to come as guest speaker to their alma mater. So it's a dream come true, and thank you to students for this opportunity. And uh, secondly, today's model United Nations and uh, committee was WHO. Topic was food security, and uh, very well <coughs> performed. By the students here from class 11th, I guess. So 
हमारी कॉलेज में भी परफॉर्म्ड आई वाज इन बी एटी बेलोर एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विटनेस्ड इस एस गेस्ट सो आई वाज वेरी इम्प्रेस्ड एंड इन आर टाइम्स वी डेंट गेट दिस ऑपरेशनिटीज सो वेरी वेल परफॉर्म्ड बाय द स्टूडेंट्स एंड थर्डली आई वुड लाइक टू से सॉरी आई आई वेक अप अर्ली इन द मॉर्निंग सो दैट इज हाउ आई Thirdly, regarding the today's topic, that was the WHO committee of the United Nations. So the food security has been covered very well by the students. So I would like to touch upon another study that was published day before yesterday by the WHO. That is the Road Safety Report of 2023, and it states that uh, around 12 lakh people every year lose their lives from road accidents, and more than 60% of that are pedestrians or people who are Going on two wheelers, and three uh, percent of a country's GDP goes on an average. Three percent of a country's GDP goes in correcting or in making sure that uh, they reduce the number of road accidents that happen in each year in their countries. So I think that the problem lies the, in the casual attitude that we are following nowadays. All the children and all the uh, minors that have been driving recklessly. Even when I go for a morning run, I feel very unsafe now to go for road running. So I have been doing track running now because I don't know if I will be going back home alive or not after a morning run. That is the state of the roads, and I believe as the future pillars of India, you guys can work upon this and uh, make a change as responsible citizens of this country. And uh, again, now about me, I was uh, in class 10th in 2015, 10th W. I joined Nosegay in 2009, in class 4th, as a student that had dreams to become an engineer, and that I got to really push upon after my class 10th. And uh, in those six years that I stayed at Nosegay, it really uh, molded me into a very uh, a student which had every skill. I was a scholar. I was a 10 CGP holder in my class 10th. Equal to that is 95%. And uh, I was a performer in sports. 200 meters. I guess I remember I was a bronze medalist in 200 meters. And uh, all the sports week was swept away by 10th W in those times. And uh, we were uh, like we used to play football very keenly and uh, when I left my teammates played in the CBSE clusters as well. I didn't get the chance because I left early to pursue for my JE mains examination preparations and uh, I cleared my JE mains and advanced but uh, due to my low percentage or rank that I got I was not getting a the branch of my choice or the college of my choice so I chose VIT Velour and I chose BTEC in Civil Engineering and uh, after completing that from VIT Velour I was working in corporate sector, a startup called Swiftlearn, and after a month, I was not feeling it because I wanted a very active lifestyle. Because I was also a board member of my fitness club president, uh, fitness club of uh, VAT Bellore, and I was from the start of my college days, I was, a fit, I was a fitness enthusiast. So I wanted to do something in fitness, something for the nation, because as you all know, in, during COVID-19, most of the dread deaths that were reported could have been evaded if people would have followed a very healthy lifestyle. More than 80% or I would say 8 out of 10 people died because of an unhealthy lifestyle or a vitamin D deficiency. Unhealthy lifestyle, for example, an average American diet includes burgers, pizzas, french fries, etc. Processed food basically. So I wanted to bring this awareness in our country and I started my own startup. I will start, I will cleared my certifications. I am a national level certified nutritionist and uh, body coach for special population for people that are having lifestyle disorders, not diseases. Doctors have marked them as diseases, but actually they are not diseases. These are lifestyle disorders, for example, anemia, diabetes type 2, hypertension, etc. And I have had uh, success in dealing with clients my own mother had osteoporosis in her left knee and uh, that made it very difficult for her to walk. But when I worked upon her for one year, she's, uh, she can now walk and uh, 
without like she can walk effortlessly now and do her day to day job very well one of my clients was a retired professor here only dr ambedkar uh, college from dr ambedkar he is retired now he was facing hypertension so his bp used to bounce around 140 150 on a daily basis so i, I worked upon him for 3 months and he was having uh, 125 to 130 rate uh, ratings of bp and he was very happy with, with that and he has continued that now i can i'm also in touch with him i have also cured uh, one of my clients anemia and she was also suffering from uh, cyst that you call or i should say uh, cystic ovaries that is that causes also problems in their metabolism and thyroid problems or thyroid issues that mostly ladies deal with in our countries after pregnancies or post pregnancies so that also i have cured for many of the things but after that even after that i was feeling a little ki i should do something for the country as well so i started preparing for upsc civil services and defense services simultaneously and uh, while i was preparing for my civil services i cleared my cdsc exam and afcat exam in my first attempt and uh, this was my first ssb through technical entries like the te- technical graduate course scheme and in my first attempt i got in and uh, after that doing training at imf for one year i got commissioned on 9th of december this year and i am here now as i am enjoying my holidays so thought of visiting the school and uh, so then sir gave me this opportunity to attend the event and address you guys so to motivate you i would like i think you are you would be dozing off from now <laughs> cuz we used to doze off in our times during lectures so i don't want to bore you guys but to motivate you i have had many examples with me who were not that focused or that determined in their school times but uh, they made it in the life and i have many like from the same batch 2015 batch i have many course mates or batch mates i would say those are those are doctors now engineers now in uh, big software companies and uh, most of them are also there in <coughs> for friendly foreign countries serving earning very well having an established life so not all of them were toppers not all of them were performers but they somewhere knew that they have to do it on their own someone or someone somebody made their up made their minds up during school times some they made their minds up in college but eventually you need to think upon that that you need to work upon yourself and uh, build your own personalities whether it may be serving your government or doing a private job whatever it may be ultimately i believe that instead of going out in friendly foreign countries you should stay inside the country work for the country i am not saying only defense service officers or the officers in uniform are serving the country people in banking sector people in economic sector people working for the health department the doctors the engineers everybody is an important pillar for the success of this country so that's what i want to say because people nowadays believe in doing an mba degree or a masters degree from an international college saying at their homes that we will be coming back but after completing they want to stay there they want to earn in dollars because dollars well dollars give you a heck of a lot of uh, i would say uh, a posh lifestyle and after getting attracted to that they don't want to return to the country so that is the message that i want to give you guys to keep working on yourself do good in life and uh, lastly i would like to say eat healthy work out daily respect your elders respect your parents be responsible drive safely thank you jai hind thank you sir as we come to the end of this remarkable session i extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for your participation enthusiasm and support Let's carry the spirit of today's event forward as we bid farewell. Students, this annual activity is being conducted at the national and international level 
and participation in such projects will earn a student extra credit points for higher studies. In order to develop the analytical skills of our students, we will, back, we will be back in Jan 2024 with MUN 2.0. Thank you.